first I want to say Kahala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Barakata, Raka, Kadash. We are here to speak the truth. We're coming out the Holy Scriptures. Alright? And for further edification, check out our YouTube channel, Awaken Israel. Um, check out House of Israel Atlanta, House of Israel DC, um, the YouTube channel, Sharpa Bun Yum Yum, and Mac News 144. That's right. Alright? We're out here to tell y'all that. The religions y'all following are false. That's right? right. Religion is a Latin word that goes back from a Latin word religio, That's which right. means tie back or to restrain. tie back or to restrain, control. Religion is used to control people. Right. All right. That's why all of all y'all are lost in these false religions, especially the so-called main one, Christianity. All right. Pentecostalism, some of the Adventists, Jehovah Witness. Mormonism, all of that is false. Islam, right? The Bible goes into that, right? Brother, give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. So we're going to bring that out, all right? Prophet Moses prophesied that we'll go into these false religions, into these false idols, all right? So that's what we are here to do, to wake up you so-called blacks and Hispanics to your true nationality, of being Hebrew Israelites and try to get y'all out of these false religions, out of these false churches. Because we're the real church. Right. To the Bible. Bring that out, Ken. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. And it says, And the Most High shall scatter thee among all people. All right. Stop right there, right? We are scattered among all people. Like it says also in the New Testament, James 1 and 1. 12 tribes scattered abroad. Right. right? That's one of the curses that's going to happen to us if we don't obey God. That will be scattered. That's all right. You know your nationality, brother? Yeah. What is it? How are you African American? That's two so called white men. So, how you come out to the two so called white men, brother? Right. See, that's how we say so our people is lost, man. They got that effeminate spirit. They're probably raised by their, their mothers. I mean, but continue to read, okay? From one, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood right. and right. stone. Even wood or stone. What's wood? All right. What the, what did Christ die on? A cross. What is the cross made out of? Wood. Right. All right. The Bible also said that there will be false Christ. All right. And the Apostle Paul also talked about another Jesus. All right. And what he said, and? And stone. What stone? Stone is Islam. What do they do in Mecca? They walk around the Kaaba stone seven times. All right. So the prophet Moses warned us and told us that we'll be scattered and we'll be lost into these false religions. The Bible don't deal with religion. Right. God didn't give us religion. God gave us law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Right. The Bible is our history book, full of prophecies. Right. And commandments, laws, and statutes. So I don't know how y'all come up with religion. All right. That's why there's so many denominations in Christianity. There's over thirty thousand denominations, like Pentecostalism, which what what I grew up. It started from a devil, a demon named Charles Pangram. That's that started right. in 1901, I believe. All right. How y'all gonna get salvation or religion from your enemies, man? That, that's crazy. All right. What um, Mormonism started off? Mm -hmm. like Joseph, I believe Smith. Some guy named Joseph Smith, right? Mormonism. <laughs> How y'all gonna follow that? They even accept so-called black people until the 60s. They set right. their books as the current to have God's skin. Right. But y'all wanna follow Mormonism? All this garbage. That's right. right. All, all, all these are false religions, right? So that's why we're trying to, to wake y'all up, man. Bring uh, uh, Habakkuk 2 and 19. That also bring out the false idols that our people love to worship. Alright? Uh, the prophet Habakkuk is gonna tell again about the wood and stone. Alright? 
wood being Christianity, the stone being Islam. All right? So God put these symbolisms in there so we can have the understanding. And that's what we out here, the servants is out here to do, to give y'all the proper breakdown of the Holy Scriptures. Got that can read, okay? This the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 19. Read. Woe unto him that saith to the wood, Awake to the dumb stone, arise, it shall teach. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath in it at all in the midst of it. God, it says, Woe. Right, go to those that practice in Catholicism. Right. Y'all out there doing the sign of the cross. Could the sign of the cross do anything for you? Never did. All right, could the statue Mary, um, the so-called, uh, the Nordic and the so-called Hispanics, especially love that. The Lady of Guadalupe, could she do anything for you? Have you ever seen the statue Mary walk up and talk? Have she ever healed, really healed anybody? So that's why it says, whoa, on to you, all right? Like, you know what she said? You know what that statue says? God! That's it. All right? They say you're going to slavery. That's it. You will continue to be there. That's why it says woke. Woke means the destruction. Right. All of us that's following this false path. That's why the New Testament says the gate to destruction is wide. All right? Because all of our people following these false philosophies and these false religions. The, they claim the so-called two billion Christians or people in Christianity, right? And what's the small again? Islam. Right. Are people out there um, saving up their money to go to Mecca to walk around a damn dumb stone? Right. Has that stone ever healed anybody? That stone give anybody money? Has that stone ever helped anybody out? Let me say this too. You also got. You also have. Right now, a lot of the people claiming healing power from these certain stones. They use all these different stones. Yeah, there is certain type of magnetic effects with certain stones. Uh -huh. But when you go into, oh, this is my lucky stone. Right. This is my lucky rock. This is my lucky coin. You know, that's when it goes into the idol worship. Right. Because a stone can't give you healing. Gone. Unless it saves your life. You being attacked by somebody and you hit them upside their head with the damn stone and you save your life. That's God. the only way it can help. Like our ancestors, so who did that? Like David the king. Right. right. That stone. Right. That, that, that David the lion. Right. That's a helpful stone. Right. So that's what we out here to do, man. We're breaking down these barriers and telling you your true nationality and to get out these false religions. Get out Seven Day Advances. All right, get out the Mormon church. Get out Pentecostalism. Get out the Baptist so-called church. All right, these are not the true churches of God.